Welcome to Libreville in Gabon. Welcome to Point Denis in Gabon. This is about a half hour boat trip from Libreville, the capital of Gabon. Now Gabon was a former French colony, but before that, it was occupied by various Bantu tribes over the years. It was for a short period, the capital of French Congo before, well, independence. Now Libreville comes from the name of Freetown in French and similar story to Freetown in Sierra Leone. It got its name because of some emancipated slaves were moved here. So Gabon has about 100,000 square miles, so not a huge country, and about 2.3 million people. With its reliance on the petrodollar, Gabon has the fifth highest per capita GDP in Africa and the fourth highest on the Human Development Index. That, of course, hides the wealth disparity between the richest and the poorest, the wealthiest having private houses on this island and the poorest begging in the streets. That having been said, the disparity is not as wide as I've seen in some African countries. Like a lot of West Africa, unsurprisingly, there's a lot of beautiful coastline. And unsurprisingly, the low-lying areas are threatened by climate change, like in lots of part of the world. Now, since independence in 1960, Gabon has had three presidents. From 1990, the Gabon Democratic Party has brought in multi-party elections although the Gabonese Democratic Party is one each and every one of them. Yeah, unlike Gabon, I had my spider senses attuned because I was thinking West Africa, trouble, yada, yada, yada. But actually it turned out the people here are really friendly. I like them. Um, they really are not busted about a white guy. And it's just a fairly laid back, middle of the road country. It's a few great forests and beaches. So I'm at a place called Coco Beach in Gabon. And that's one of the local fishing villages they have here. Now this is not the Coco Beach of Captain Anthony Nelson and Jean. This is Coco Beach in Gabon. And that's Equatorial Guinea. This is right on the border here. Now, I've never been to Equatorial Guinea, so this gives me an idea. Uh, the adventure continues. I drove a little bit like an idiot on a road like this, hit a bump, hit the oil sump, oil's come out. I'm in a village in the middle of nowhere in Gabon uh, where there's no mobile phone signal. J'ai ma nouvelle amie qui m'assiste. Merci beaucoup. The adventure continues. <laughs> 